G'day guys, and in this quick video, we're talking about music for your video projects. Roll the bumper. G'day guys, my name is Bruce Garrod, and I'm the owner of Ginger Beard Media. And in this quick video, I wanna talk about music and music in your video projects for your business. So I wanna start with how I choose music for video projects that we're working on. To start with, there are two main sites that I will use to go and purchase license royalty-free music from. They are audiojungle.com and premiumbeat.com. As a business, I would encourage you to purchase your music, simply because purchase music means that you've got a right to use it and you won't get blocked, taken down, muted, or anything else from the platforms that you're choosing to put it out on. There are literally thousands of music tracks out there to choose from, and I wanna talk about how I would normally pick one track from another. So I'd normally start with Audio Jungle as my music source, and I do that because their tracks are relatively well priced, and I tend to use them for projects where the music isn't key. I'm trying to find a piece where it's a nice piece of background music, usually someone's talking over the top, just like this sort of video. When I'm looking for a premium track, the music is more of a feature, or we've got a premium client on board, then we'll tend to use premium beat. It's more expensive, but the music is definitely of better quality. With regards to selecting music, I try and find a piece that's appropriate to the company and the video that we're trying to produce as, as an end product. Now it would be simple for me to say that I'm not going to pick a heavy rock and roll track or a drum and bass track for a funeral parlour. It just doesn't sit in line with their branding. But when you are choosing music, I would just think about things such as the style and pace of your delivery. So if you've got a slower piece, you need a slower piece of music. There is no point in putting a quick piece of music to it. I think it's also important to understand where that video is likely to be seen. Mobile phone speakers are very different to computer speakers and we need to take that on board. You'll often lose a lot of the bass in the track when you head onto your phone. Other than that, it's pretty much a a suck it and see, a try it and see what happens kind of affair. My advice, go onto those websites, grab a couple of tracks and put them in, play them through, leave it for a while so you've got time to mull over your decision, go back to it with a fresh set of ears and re-listen to it. From there you can select and pay for that track, use it as needed or change it out for something different. I think a lot of people think that they need a lot of different tracks for videos if they're doing like a set and actually Often what we've found is by using the same music, it almost becomes part of your brand. People recognize the music and associate it to your brand. So don't be afraid to use one track and save yourself some money. Anyway, that's been my quick tips for choosing music for your videos. As ever, I hope the video has been of use. If you've got any questions or comments, please do chuck them down below. If you haven't joined up already, please consider joining up to our free Facebook group, How to Shoot Video for Your Business and I'll see you in the next video. Ginger Beard Media, get on beard.